Good morning to a brand new day. Time to learn and games to play. Learning things is so much fun. Learning is good for everyone. Good morning, first grade. It is a wonderful Wednesday, and I'm so glad you're here with me in our PBS classroom. My name is Mrs. Hammock, and I'm here to help you to practice all the skills that you need to be an excellent reader and writer for first grade. So welcome, and I want to share a story with you. Do you know about meerkats? Do you know what a meerkat is? This story is called Meet the Meerkat by Darren Lund, and it's illustrated by Patricia J. Wynn. Oh, I love these little guys. You know what I love the most about reading? Is you can go on adventures. Have you ever been to Africa? I've never been, I have friends that have gone, but these little guys, these meerkats, they live in Africa. And it says right here, my name is Little Meerkat. I'm kind of a mongoose. Open this book and come to the desert with me. Isn't that cool? So you can go places with your imagination just by reading a book. That's why reading is so exciting and why so many of your teachers are trying to get you to read because it's so much fun. All right, you can look at this book, maybe try it to see if we have it on Sora or your county library, wherever you live. Let's take a look at our Sora list for this week. We have Manchester in fifth place, Pile Pythons in fourth place. Let's find out who our third place is for this week. Are you ready? Oh, it's another one of my favorite places. Holland, go Chargers. Holland Elementary School, way to go. Wow, I'm proud of you. All right, keep reading and tomorrow we'll find out who is in second place. Let's wake up our brains and play a little listening game. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. Good morning. All right, we're going to listen to sounds. We're going to play a segmenting game, okay? I'm going to tell you the sounds one at a time, and you're going to put it all together to tell me my word. Here we go. S-l-i-d. Put it together, slide. A little faster, slide. Good job. All right, let's try this one. T -r -i -b. T -r -tr -i -b. Tribe, terrific. Okay, here we go, last one. O -i -k. Three sounds, lie. Like, very nicely done, good for you. We're gonna work on our fluency now. Those are the letters and sounds that we've already learned, but we practice just to make sure that we know them automatically and that they're locked in so that when we're trying to sound out words, we know what sounds to make. Here is our cheese card. This is a digraph, it means two letters make one sound, cheese, and it can be spelled C-H or at the end of a word, T-C-H. Here's our next one, shell, sh-s-h is how you spell that sound. Thumb, thumb, T-H is how you spell that sound. Th-th, it's an air sound, isn't it? Here is our whale card, whale. Do you feel the breath on your hand? That's how you know you're making the right sound. W-H is how we spell that sound. Here is our F card for fire, but fire doesn't start with the, the spelling pattern we're looking at. We're looking at P-H is the digraph that says the same sound as F. It says F, 
But the word that would, we would use for this might be photograph or graph, like if you're writing a graph in math. Here we have the sing card. Ng, ing, eng, ong, ung. Here's our short A vowel. It's a vowel. It says a. Ah. And then we learned its long A sound, A. This is the train card. And we worked on A consonant, E. Here is the short I vowel. It says I, as in insect. And we spell it with an I. And this week, we are working on the long I, phi, I, I've. Did you hear it say I? Yeah. And we're spelling it with the I consonant E. We're going to learn these other spelling patterns later this year, but right now we're just concentrating on the magic E or the super E or the silent E, whichever way you'd like to call it. It's all the same. All right, let's take a look over here at our word board because we're going to do some reading together. We're going to build the word. We're going to build some words today. Let's build the word glide. Let's sound it out. G, l, gl, i, d. All right, what is that first two sounds you heard? G, l. That's a blend, isn't it? So here it is. Here's our G, L blend. Gl. Here's our I consonant E. What consonant goes here for glide? Yes, good. So I'm going to put the consonant there. Do you see the I consonant? magic E or super E. Glide, glide. All right, let's, let's change out the beginning blend and let's look at this one. What does that say? Slide. So if you know how to write the word glide, you can also write the word slide. Good job. All right, let's build another word. Are you ready? Let's build the word wipe. Wipe. Wha I, p, wipe. What's the first sound? Good, it's the W sound. So we're gonna put that here. W, I, what's that consonant that's gonna go there in that pattern? Good, p, wipe, wipe. Good job. All right, let's try another one. Let's try size, size. Do you hear it? S I, what's that sound that goes in that pattern? Zzz. Good. Size, size, good job. All right, how about the word, last one, spine, spine, like the bones in your back. How would we spell that? Sp, 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 I, n is the n, is the consonant that goes in our pattern. I consonant E, spine. Great reading today. All right, let's put it into practice on our reading chart and see what that looks like. Here we go. Long I practice. B, I, T, bite. D, I, N, dine. Five, hide. Lime. Mine, pipe. Ooh, this is a tricky one. What's that first sound there? Right, Q U says qu, qu, it, quite. Ripe, vine. Here is a two syllable word. Let's break it apart. In, it has the short I, in, side, inside. Good job and shine. Terrific reading. Great job practicing those um, long I words with that spelling pattern, I consonant E. You're doing great. Let's take a look at our high frequency words. We have two that we're gonna work on today, all right? So, are you ready? Okay, the first word I want you to read and spell with me is green. G R E E N. G R E E N. G R E E N. I know how to spell green. G R E E N. Do you remember that song from kindergarten? 
You might. Green. All right, here's my next word. Should. Should. Now, this is a tricky one that boys and girls often stumble on. So you might want to write this one down and practice it. S-H-O-U-L-D. Should. Should. We don't hear the L, do we? It, it's a crazy one. Don't try to sound it out. This is one that you just definitely have to memorize. All right, let's take a look at our sentences and find out which sentence belongs to which word, okay? All right, here we go. The pig can eat hmm, grass. Are you looking? Okay, here's our next one. Where hmm, we go? Hmm, are you, are you, tell me. Green in the first one? Okay, let's see. The pig can eat green grass. Sure, that makes sense, doesn't it? All right, how about this one? Where should we go? Oh, you're right, that's a question. Did you hear how my voice went up at the end? And where, when it starts a sentence, is a question word. Where should we go? There's a lot of places we could go, right? All right, good job with your high frequency words. Let's take a look at plurals, plural nouns. A noun is a person, place, or thing. And when we have more than one person, place, or thing, we call it a plural. And we do that with these nouns by adding an S. So here I have the word kite, just a regular kite. There's that I consonant E. Do you see how important that is? Kite. If I have more than one, it's kites, kites. I just added an S at the end. Let's look at the sentences so you can see what it looks like in writing. Ready? My kite got stuck in a tree. So how many kites are in that sentence? Right, just one. My kite got stuck in a tree. Let's read the next one. Our kites got stuck in a tree. Did you see how we said our? That means yours and mine. That means our. That's more than one, right? Because you have a kite, I have a kite. So that's more than one. So we have to add an S. Our kites got stuck in a tree. All right, let's take a look at this word. And it's plural. Here is a pile. Pile. And piles. One pile. Or, oops, or many piles. Let's look at the sentence. I see a pile of leaves. How many did I see? Right, one pile. I see many piles of leaves. It tells me many, right? Great job. I hope you're practicing all of these things all week long. And I forgot something super important. I would love to get a letter from you. I'd love for you to send it to the address right on your screen and tell me all the things you're reading or writing or learning about, and I will send you a free activity book. I hope you'll send me a letter. They really make me so happy. Goodbye now, goodbye now. The clock says we're done. I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye, everyone. Have a great day. A brand new day, time to learn and games to play. Learning things is so much fun, learning is good for everyone.